Must win time for the Western Sydney Wanderers who are currently ninth on the A-League ladder, but they're only four points behind the Perth Glory. So they could tighten things up big time tonight. Perth hanging on in fifth spot right now, hoping not to open up the door any more than they have. Warner only getting there, but McGowan had it all covered. And now Bruno has a defeat. Franich, D'Agostino on the move. Kilkenny right through the middle. Franich with a little nutmeg. Able to keep on advancing Ivan Franich. Now Fornaroli. Again that trademark move trying to set up the shot. Back to one day. Now Popovic, a goal scorer at this end the other night. Breaks back Popovic's way. And picks out Fornaroli. Back off the post. Perth that close to taking the lead. Pretty unlucky that it hits the post and doesn't go inside it. Grand final this year, only 24 days away. Brimmer and Franjic is through and scoring! Out of nowhere, Avran Franjic shows his instinct for goal. Slides it past Prendergast. There may have been a case for a penalty kick if it didn't go in. Hopefully not a serious injury. Ivan Franjic is the hero right now. He's put Perth in front. Bacchus. Georgievski. Those moments that he had. Coming back to Hort perhaps. But Duke pulls one back and the game is opening up around the hour mark, isn't it? Western Sydney. Restore parity in a flash. And that's another captain's goal from Mitch Duke. Well, and you can see the way he collects the ball. They need two. They need a win. Draw's not going to be good enough. Kamau left it behind for Ingen. Brimmer bounces it off. And that struck a hand. Surely penalty for Perth. A sprawled out Dylan McGowan. Took a big risk hitting the deck. The ball struck his hand. And after many appeals in this second half, they get the spot kick now. Tristan Prendergast to keep his team level. Kilkenny to give the glory the lead. And he sends the keeper the right way, but he couldn't keep it out. Running out of ideas, yeah, the Wanderers. Too, too static. The Wanderers attack there, and maybe only Kamau was the only op other option there. They need to find some energy and some movement. Good play from Brimmer. It's been excellent since coming on. And picks out D'Agostino. Meredith blasts it in. And Perth may just have secured the three points. Love the celebration as well from James Meredith. Who's come off the bench tonight to score his first A-League goal in his 20th appearance. Filling that void of Jason Davidson that was a big hole to fill in the off-season. And what a finish it is. Well, Tony Popovich will be so happy with the, the reaction of his team after the loss to Adelaide. And 5-3 sort of flattered them in the end. As Adelaide really did demolish them. But it all ends in disappointment for Western Sydney. But, you know, reality is they just weren't good enough. Perth were the better team and deserved their victory. And Tony Popovich does get the result. And the bounce back he was after. James Meredith sealed the victory. Those... Perth fans who arrived tonight like what they saw from their side. Neil Kilkenny pulling the strings in midfield. Fornaroli such a handful throughout the evening. And Perth solidify their spot in the top six. And the Wanderers' hopes just about done.